Okay, so here I am for the third video. And uh, in the second video, I shared with you my theological understanding of the Holy Sacrifice and the term Mass, which, is a, which means uh, a sending forth, a commissioning. As Catholic Christians, we are called to share uh, the truth and the love of God in Christ Jesus as uh, taught to us in the Gospel of Matthew at the end of the Gospel uh, Jesus commissions his apostles he instructed them uh, go and make disciples of all nations teaching them what I have taught you baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit also in the Gospel of St. Mark, Jesus said something, said something the same. He told his apostles to go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. So it's, that's where we are coming from in the understanding of the term mass, which is a, a theological dismissal, sending forth or commissioning. So let me proceed to another important uh, element of the holy sacrifice of the mass which is the sacrament of the holy eucharist the holy sacrifice of the mass generates the sacrament of the holy eucharist the holy eucharist is really as i've already sort of explained the body and blood of christ in the manifestation of the species of the bread and wine consecrated at the in the holy sacrifice of the mass so the holy eucharist in the catholic faith is the real presence of christ body blood soul and divinity jesus instituted this at the last supper he told his apostles take this all of you and eat it take this all of you and drink from it this is my body this is my blood which will be given up for you and then he said, do this in memory of me. So now what we have is that sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. So um, what I think I would like to dwell on is the understanding of sacrament. The term sacrament really means sign. According to St. Augustine, the visible sign of the invisible reality of grace who is God himself in Christ Jesus. So the Holy Eucharist is the visible sign in the consecrated host no? of the invisible reality of the real presence of Christ in our midst. So the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass brings us the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist for our feeding. So Jesus feeds us with himself with his bread of life so that we might be empowered so that we might be uh, protected from the enslavement of uh, other things God wants us to fully be dedicated to him in faith and in morality so that's the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. It is the primordial central of the seven sacraments of the church. Why precisely? Because that is the real presence of Christ. All the other sacraments, the six sacraments, proceed from the Holy Eucharist because it is Jesus who is the fount of all graces he is grace himself and he bestows himself through all these sacraments so the primordial or source of all these graces that jesus bestows to us is himself the holy eucharist okay so um another thing that uh, i would like to mention the final one uh, for an overview 
is the idea of the sacred liturgy. So, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass brings us the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, and all this takes place in the sacred liturgy. The sacred liturgy is kind of a, the program during which all of these things take place. Okay, so uh, there are two parts in the sacred liturgy, the liturgy of the Word and the liturgy of the Holy Eucharist. It is in the liturgy of the Word that Jesus uh, mentors us, that Jesus uh, evangelizes us, continues to teach us so that we, we might grow more and more in our faith and in our love for Him. Okay? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He speaks to us always. He is immanent. He continues to be present in the sacred liturgy at the liturgy of the Word. So, so uh, I was uh, explaining to you, I am explaining to you the understanding of the sacred liturgy and that is why it is sacred. The first part is the liturgy of the Word, and the second part is the liturgy of the Holy Eucharist, during which the offering of the bread and wine uh, is consecrated and transforms the bread and wine by the power of the Holy Spirit into the real body and blood of Christ. So all of these things take place in the sacred liturgy. So liturgy, actually, literally, means um, I think it is a, a Greek from a Greek term which means uh, uh, which means public service or public ministry a gathering or assembly of the faithful to come to worship God together sharing a common faith okay so that is the meaning of liturgy. It is akin to our understanding of the church, which, uh, which comes from uh, the Greek term ecclesia. Ecclesia in the Old Testament is the assembly of the chosen people of God, the first chosen people of God, Israel. They always come together to offer their sacrifices, animal sacrifices or harvests, no, to worship Yahweh. So that was the Old Testament. They, they gathered together uh, for these religious rites of animal sacrifice, which is their way of expressing their worship and thanksgiving to God. Okay, but in the New Testament, Ecclesia has come to mean, uh, in the usage of St. Paul, and even in the Acts of the Apostles. And in the Gospel of Matthew, the term Ecclesia refers to the assembly of the members of the Society of Christ's faithful and disciples okay, to partake of the sacrifice and eat the Lord's Supper as mandated by the Lord, as I've said, in the Last Supper. Do this in memory of me. So that is uh, the general understanding of liturgy and self-explanatory. That's why it is sacred, sacred liturgy. The other thing that I would like to share with you is what the Second Vatican Council has uh, officially uh, un uh, declared about the sacred liturgy. The Second Vatican Council uh, stipulates this in one of four major documents of the Second Vatican Council, the Sacro Sanctum Concilium or the Constitution of the Sacred Liturgy. In the number 10 provision of the Sacro Sanctum Concilium, it's, it is stipulated that the Sacred Liturgy is the summit toward which all the activities of the Church are directed the fount from which all her power flows, the grace of Christ flows. For the apostolic uh, mission is that all those who are made children of God by faith and baptism should come together
to worship God in the midst of the church, to partake of the sacrifice of the Lord, and to eat the Lord's Supper. So that is uh, what the church teaches officially about the sacred liturgy, meaning to say that as, Catholic, as uh, devout Catholic Christians, we ought to come to the holy sacrifice of the Mass at the sacred liturgy every every moment of our lives, every day as much as possible, although the church teaches. Uh, I would like to put it this way, every Sunday, but it should be every day. We need God, we need Christ every day. So coming to the holy sacrifice of the Mass in the sacred liturgy is like always uh, attending or engaging in the dynamics of Christ's uh, Christian formation. It is a Christian formation program. We are cleansed. We are made to realize our sinfulness, our mistakes. Jesus teaches us what, what might have gone wrong in the liturgy of the Word. And then we are cleansed. We are then at the uh, liturgy of the Holy Eucharist, Jesus liberates us from the slavery of our sinfulness. He feeds us with the bread of life. He empowers us. And then we come out at the end of the dismissal, refreshed, empowered, commissioned to proclaim the good news of salvation that a kingdom of God has already come in the person of Jesus Christ whose sacrifice we are partaking at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Okay, so I think this is just an overview, but I hope uh, this has helped you to understand even a little bit more about our Catholic faith in the Holy Mass. So, having said all of this, we cannot afford to come late for Mass. Right at the beginning, if we come late, we could miss the penitential rites during which Jesus willingly forgives our sins because he knows that we come to church tainted with sins. So we come to Mass also um, because we are aware that uh, we are sinful. We, we want to be cleansed. We, we want to ask for forgiveness. So that happens, the forgiveness Jesus grants us at the penitential rites okay so let's not come too late for mass and then let us actively participate respond pray listen to everything that is being said in the holy mass everything is full of god's truth and wisdom and grace that uh, is so refreshing and that is how we get formed. That is how we grow more and more mature as a Catholic Christian. So let's better be uh, dedicated or, or passionate about our partic participation in the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at the Sacred Liturgy to receive Jesus himself at the Holy Eucharist. That's it. God bless and keep safe. Let's be good Catholics. Amen.